do? You do? I'm going to sneak it up. Huh? I like sneaking it up. You like it? Hello there friends of this raw garbage family. In this video, we are going to be learning about natural hair care as it relates to natural beauty. Stay on, do not go away. channel before we dive into the video please do not forget to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you never have to miss any of our videos including natural healthy tips on how to keep your hair as healthy as mine do you really have to use chemicals on your hair you're damaging your own hair you know and it's all about the money thing you're just wasting your money you can manage your hair naturally and have it as pretty healthy thick luster and beautiful as mine and it's all natural and when your hair is natural you are very much at peace because you are not worried about breakage or waking up one day and all your edges are gone so why do you bother about using chemicals on your hair one it is expensive two it damages your hair breaks off your edges leave your hair coarse and difficult to manage once you start using chemicals, you have to keep using them. Otherwise, your hair becomes a problem to manage. If you never use chemical on your hair, then you never have to be worried about hair damage from chemical use. There is absolutely nothing you can accomplish using chemical on your hair except hair damage. Why don't you make it a new year resolution to stop using chemicals on your hair Give it a chance and see the result after one year. Let no one deceive you. Chemical is never going to be good for your hair. Period. The best way to stop worrying about your hair is to go natural. The chemicals are no good. The chemicals are a disaster to your hair. Why do some people apply chemical on their kids' hair as young as this age? By the time they turn 21, their edges are all gone. That is the time when they become aware of the importance of hair. But their hair is all gone at that time. Why would you even do that to a child? Give them the opportunity to make their own decision whether they want chemical on their hair or not. All it does is damage the hair of your kids, take out their edges. By the time they grow up, nothing is left. Please don't do that to your children. Do not apply chemical to your children's hair. Chemicals are no good. Chemicals do nothing to your hair but damage them. In this channel, we have videos that will help you learn how to manage your natural hair without the use of chemicals and enjoy your natural beauty to the optimum. So friends of the Zero Garbage family, let's all try it natural this year and see what the result will be.
great. This is my hair from one year ago when my mom started doing natural hair treatment. And this is how far it has been. And she told me she's never going to put chemical in my hair, never going to cut my hair, even in my marriage home. She said she's going to chase me there and make sure I never have to put chemicals in my hair. So whoever is my future husband, know that. Don't mess around with my hair because my mom is <laughs> Formerly, I always used to use chemical products on my hair, and my hair used to be damaged terribly. When I say damaged terribly, I mean like I had little short hair. But suddenly, my mom started using her natural products on my hair, and you can see my hair has become progressive. My hair started growing back naturally and long. And I'm telling you also, my mom also told me that if I sh and she ever catch me using chemicals on my hair again, I'll be in big trouble. So I'm telling you, you should stop the use of chemical products and go natural hair like mine. You know what? Sometimes I begin to wonder where the obsession of chemical use in black hair all came from. Back in the days, our ancestors were able to manage their hair naturally. I had no complaints. Out of a sudden, the management of black hair has become a problem. The origin of the problem of black hair is the application of chemical. Once you begin applying chemical in your hair, you have to keep doing it, otherwise it becomes a problem. If you do not want your hair to become too tough, hardy, and difficult to manage, make sure you never begin the application of chemical in your hair. Because once you begin, you have to get to the habit of doing it. When you relax your hair and have undergrowth, the texture of the undergrowth is different from the other sections of your hair. If you do not continue to apply chemical, whatever they call touch up, then your hair begins to break. Then you begin to complain. My edges are falling out. My hair is breaking. I cannot manage my hair. My hair is so damaged. One part of your hair is long, the other part is short, your edges are all gone, you're wondering what is wrong with me. It's the use of chemicals in your hair. Friends, this is what the so-called relaxer does to your hair. It's a chemical, of course. When you apply relaxer on your hair, after a few months, there's what they call undergrowth. What does that mean? Simple. The root of your hair now has a different texture from the remainder of your hair. When you have hair with different texture in the different sections, the root of your hair it's a different texture from the rest of your hair. What does that mean? A very, very drastic demarcation. Hair on the one side is softer and the root of your hair is coarse. They call it undergrowth. That is the beginning of the damage of your hair. Next thing, the hairdresser is advising you to return to this salon and have a touch up. And what does that mean again? It means applying additional chemical to the root of your hair. You keep applying chemicals to the root of your hair and making the remaining part portions of your hair having a different texture and that alone is enough to start what they call split ends because the texture in the roots of your hair is different from the texture at 
the other sections of your hair. So split ends now set in. It's the beginning <laughs> of the damaging of your hair. Now they're going to tell you uh, if you don't want your hair to be damaged, you make you have to make sure that you return to this salon every two weeks or every one month or every uh, two months, whatever is the prescription of your hairdresser, please. It's just a money thing. Even if they know that this is damaging your hair, they need money. That is their job. That is where they make a living. If you do not return to the salon, how are they going to pay their bills? Do you expect them to tell you the truth about chemical damage in your hair? I've often told people, you don't have to rely on others. Do your own research. Learn about these things from channels like this, this Zero Garbage channel and several other channels that are educating you about what to do to your own hair. Instead of listening to the person that has a vested interest, on the one hand trying to make money and on the other hand trying to be an advisor. What kind of advisor do you expect when there is such a big conflict of interest. Are you kidding me? A vested interest to make money and on the other hand trying to help you to maintain good quality hair. Are they going to tell you do not apply chemicals on your hair? Are they going to tell you to go natural? Are they going to tell you to go natural and stop coming to the salon to use the chemical dyes and relaxers? Are they going to tell you that for real? What would that mean? That would mean that they are going to go out of business, right? That is their business. That is where they survive. That is how they manage to pay their bills. And you're going to expect them to turn around and tell you that the products they are using on your hair, the chemicals and the hair dye is not good for your hair. You should go natural. You should be smarter. No one is going to tell you that. It's about the money thing. They need cash to pay their bills. They're never going to tell you this one thing. Don't come to the salon. You don't need to dye your hair at this time. You don't need to relax your hair at this time. No one is going to tell you that. Stop using chemicals on your hair. Even if you are not fully aware of the negative effect of chemical on your hair and you are still doing a research about it, for now, take a break. Just give it a closer look before you continue applying chemicals on your hair. Stop it for now until you make your research and determine in an informed manner what you need to use on your hair. However, this is a matter of common sense, you know. Think about it critically. It's all about money, a selfish vested interest. It's a rubbish channel is ready at all time to share their tips of success in natural beauty with you. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do not leave without clicking on that subscribe button so that you never ever miss any of our natural tips for beauty. Join the Zero Garbage family so that you never miss any of our educative videos on natural beauty and a healthy lifestyle.
Ayo ya mechu be kun kwele bajia. Ayo ya mechu be kun kwele bajia. Eye 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 eye. Ayo ya mechu be kun kwele bajia. Ayo ya mechu be kun kwele bajia.
Inje, inje. Whoa, yeah. Inje, whoa, inje, whoa. clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to put the thumbs up don't forget to turn on the notification bell don't forget to comment don't forget to share share it the zero garbage family <laughs>